outline any peace, peaceful milestone and other achievement attained by sending our Kenya Defense Forces troops to the Democratic Republic of Congo. And number two is explain the exit strategy for our troops from DRC. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I am appearing before the House in accordance with Standing Order 42, Section A to G. And Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. I'm coming back to, I'm coming back home. The Speaker, the Kenya Defense Forces who are serving under the East Africa Community Regional Force are in DRC and more so in Eastern Congo following a resolution of heads of state and government after admitting DRC to be a member of the East Africa Community in their 22nd Ordinary Summit of the EAC Heads of State and Government held in Arusha on 22nd July 2022, and it approved among many other interventions, the immediate establishment and deployment of EAC Regional Force in Eastern DRC. Mr. Speaker, the mandate was to help deal with negative forces in the spirit of a collective security under a two-pronged approach, the political and the military track. In the context of the military track, Mr. Speaker, which I have the benefit to discuss and give an answer to, to this House, the ESC Defense, Chief of Defense Forces, implemented the decision of establishing a regional force that was subsequently approved by the heads of state. Thereafter, the Kenya Defense Forces deployed in DRC from August of 2022 to operate specifically in Eastern DRC alongside troops from the Republic of Burundi, Republic of South Sudan, and the Republic of Uganda. Mr. Speaker, in this deployment, the Kenya Defense Forces contingent to ICRAF went through the legal framework and the constitution of our country in the sense that the National Security Council uh, uh, approved it and Mr. Speaker, the National Assembly, this August House, in conformity with the provisions of Article 240, subsection 8A of our constitution, empowered the National Security Council and the Minister of Defense to deploy national forces and also KDF outside our country for both regional and international peace support operations. And that approval was granted, Mr. Speaker. Uh, 